Hello everybody, this is your Saturday video kicking you off with a commissary top tips guide. I thought I'd do this, uh, you might have seen last night, uh, I say last night, I'm recording this at uh, half past 11pm in the UK Eve, uh, but uh, I decided it's important to kind of get this out as soon as possible, especially because I feel that we're going to be building out a lot of this stuff when it comes to guides and information over the next few days because it's just been a bit crazy with this this uh, commissary uh, event. So, uh, yeah, you can check out the link in the description. We'll go over in-game like some of these things I'm going over. So we're going to go over eight top tips when it comes to uh, uh, to this. Um, so, yeah, like let's get into it. Let's talk about it in, uh, in, in the game sense. So, first of all, uh, the main thing I want to say with this particular event is don't panic. Like, a lot of the time, I think it's easier to kind of like... Uh, if anybody has seen, I think it was a Bruiser and a UK based, uh, like it was, it's an old uh, sketch show, and it was like uh, it's uh, like bite size, BBC bite size, and uh, like basically learning facts. Don't panic when you know, kind of thinking about um, exams. I don't know why I mentioned that; it's not really relevant. Yeah. So the first thing is don't panic, mainly because this event goes on for a while. Like it is a. 10 day event. I mean, the point of getting this video out is probably going to be 9 day. It's a 9 day event, and we still don't know much about it. We know, which is weird for MCOC, it really is. Uh, so, yeah, don't like panic like you have to get involved with it now. Don't, because there's going to be some farming involved. You will have to farm to grab some, some stuff. I don't, I mean, get out, farm in real life, but uh, in game, yes, you will have to kind of grab some stuff. Of course, if you spend, you don't have anything to really worry about to a degree. You can't get a lot of stuff. Second tip is more deals will, will come. So as we said, one of the weird things is that when it came to the in-game mail for the Caps Commissary, uh, Commissary, sorry, I keep saying commissary um, because of the joke. It's a misery. It is a misery because you've got to go grind for a load of stuff. So the Commissary um, is that, look, there's, there's more to it than meets the eye. There's more than meets the eye because if you go to, I need to kind of like take a print screen of this before it's lost forever. More of it will unlock. 22nd day I'm recording this. 24th and 29th. Which I think is when we'll see a lot of stuff. We may see more things, but I'd say it's always going to be attributed to whatever is in the solo uh, event. You know, whatever event uh, that it is. I would say as well, think about it more as like an end game. Do, do your Battlegrounds objectives. Do your AQ. Do as many fights as possible. But do bear in mind everyone else is going to be battling against the, the same volume. If you can do 10, let's just say 10 per AQ day, then that's 50 overall through the week. Well, your Alliance buddy might want to push to do 12. They might, do, they might go ahead of you. Whilst you're sleeping... And you come back into the game, someone else might have like cleared a load of champions. They're getting more points than you. So be don't kind of like be too I don't know. Um don't try and fall out with people. That's, that's probably one one thing as well. So, next tip, tip three. If the solo event and milestones is not what you need to focus on, um, then it's up to you. Like that's the thing. Investment into this event, I think you can get suckered into blinkers and panic and if you panic you might make the wrong decision you might make the wrong decision because look cyber weekend is two months away if you're a free-to-play player you may be like well i need to like save my units for that event you have to look at what you pick what you're gonna actually gonna what are you actually gonna get for 20 20 000 units in this event look at it look really hard into it and see whether or not it's going to be better for you to wait for Cyber Weekend with those 21,000 units. And just invest with gold. Like gold or your Awakening Gems. Not just from like a Paragon perspective, but lower as well. Like really could think about this. And you've got 10 days to think about it. 9 days to, whatever days to think about it. You've got time. Time is on your hand. So even if you're like, well, I can only match up to get like, you know, 1,000, 2,000. Maybe even like 3,375 points. If you can get that far, then your endeavor should be for like 900 units or whatever's on milestone three. And just stop there. Like, don't think about kind of going too far with it because what's the point? 
What's the point of going any further? So just keep that in the back of your mind. Because you look at the commissary final reward and go, do I really want a civil warrior? You might even say, well, I'll pick the cavalier option. One seven star hero crystal? Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's good thinking. And again, it's going to be down to you. Like whether or not you think that way. And yeah, the fourth tip is, you know, d think about the stuff. Like, um, I've kind of molded my tips into one here. But uh, but yeah, like the, the point to get to with uh, with tip number four about Cyber Weekend is just look. Look at going, okay, if I spend 999 units on the Awakening Bundle, I spend 8,888 or whatever units is attached to some of these things here. And also buy the Six Star Hero Shard Bundle in order to get points to get the... The milestones, do I actually need to do that? Do I actually need to do that? Keep asking yourself that question. Because you may be like, well, that may be good, but well, I don't know. Maybe I'll spend less than that and get exactly the same Cyber Weekend. You don't know. You don't know. Maybe maybe I'll save the units and use it for the banquet. Excuse me, banquet event. Maybe you'll do that. So look at it from a perspective of how far you're willing to go. And the next set of tips are all about farming because that's the other thing as well like look there's gold attached here there's shards there's shards to buy more crystals there's ticket trading so farming gold let's go right to that so there's several things you can do you're probably throughout your journey being hoarding by no fault of your own uh, some gold crystals i've got a load and the reason i've got a load is because i do arena i make sure to do the solo event even some of these other kind of mini solo events like, there's, there's gold crystals attached to them. Yeah, the milestones don't have it, like, in a huge amount. But, depending on where you are, what you, what you grind, how far you're willing to grind, you can get golden crystals. There's also more in different areas. Like, if you go to, I'm not saying, like, again, it's up to you whether or not you do this. It's, I'm not, not saying, like, you have to. I'm saying, like, this is an option. In the glory store, right at the bottom, there's gold crystals. So, spend with your glory. Doing that for free. Of course you are. Uh, there's also some volume from Arena Crystals. I'm always a bit dubious about recommending Arena Crystals, mainly because sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't when it comes to the, the Arena Crystals. Like, if you've got a load of battle chips because you do a bit of Arena, then, again, it's up to you whether or not you get... It's not up to you, but it's like sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes you, you, you don't. So when it comes to these arena crystals, oh, I've got to swap my crystals badly. Uh, no, you're either going to get something good or you're not going to get something at all. It's just it's, it's pot luck uh, with it. So that's when it comes to gold. But of course, I would recommend to anybody, and I've got to do this myself, um, and that is my grind into incursions. Now, my milestone rewards have just reset, and there's a huge amount. If you're willing to kind of like go and grind and get like you can get these on a five day rotating i'm not 100 100 sure was it was it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so it's definitely one mil yes there's a mil so there's a mil every five days in incursion so again that's up to you whether or not you want to go and grind that one uh so yeah look to that the next thing is all about trying to get uh some more units now Look, uh, you can't get 20k, and of course we've we've covered this. You cannot get; it's not realistically possible to get 20,000 units, which you can see right, 20,000 units in uh, in nine days. So, you can get from solo events if you do 10 of them. Uh, in theory, uh, you will be able to get yourself uh, 250 units, give or take. And that give or take will be like, you know, there's not theoretically 20, you know, there's, there's on the rotation of it, there may be, no, I'll say comfortably there will be about 10 solo events. There may be 11, there may be less than that. In any case, let's just say 250 units. The rest of the units, sadly, you're going to have to get from Arena. But that could at least give you 1K, like 1,000 units. 250 from solo events. There may be some other things that give you give units. But... At least say it gives you 1,000 units. You do your arena, you do your milestones, get your units, and then you go to the store, 
you'll then be able to invest from Cap's commissary. Sorry, commissary. It is a it is a misery. Um, but look, you might get that 999. If you get 999 units, then at least you've got one bundle. It's not a huge amount of bundle, to be honest. It'll only give you back 25 points for this. But it could be something good. Like, again, I'm just saying about like participation. It's up to you. Obviously, with the gold, different story because you will need to get up to, and this is the thing, going back to the gold for a moment, over, yeah, 11 mil, 111,110. So that's a lot of gold to get, right? Depending, obviously, on progression. I don't know what it is based on different progressions. But it's still something we've got to build up the spreadsheet on. But that's something to kind of point out right there. There's a lot of grinding, a lot of farming with that one. And uh, finally, okay, so the final tips uh, for this particular event. And you can check out the uh, spreadsheet, which, as I said, will be built out. Um, you know, it's crunch time. You need to get shards. So if you are taking part in the, the crystal bundle, the trade-in with that one, you're going to need a lot of shards and you're going to need them very quickly. I would say look to Battlegrounds. At this given stage, if you want to get six star shards, your rotation side of things is that you can get 30,000 shards, uh, which you can see there, like 30,000 30, shards. You, that'll rotate, rotate, I can't speak properly, uh, rotate twice. So that will give you at least 60,000 six star shards if you've not purchased already. So to give you an idea, if you do 30k now, then on Monday it will do the same. And unfortunately, I don't think, I think it'll be a very slim margin to be able to get. So you'll get 25th of September. Uh, and then I think this event finishes on the 2nd, which isn't enough time to uh, to do this. So 60k, 6 star shards. The rest, when it comes to dupes, you're going to have to get from other, where, other areas of the game. Content, crystals, duping, arena ranking, stuff like that. So that's where you're going to have to look to that. Um, and the final thing is Battlegrounds tokens. This is the other thing as well. Like you can cross trade your gold, um, and well, you can't really. You can cross trade your loyalty, battle chips, and other items by going to here. I've just purchased one ticket, which I'll give you an example of. Actually, I did it twice, so this is the second time. So you can look to purchase your tickets like there. Uh, so you kind of go like, I, I'll kind of do an example. You kind of go like, okay, well, I buy with gold. Then you get three tickets or whatever tickets. I've got one ticket, which I'm going to leave right there. We then go to store. We then go to the caps commissary. And then we go down to the bottom. We get a ticket. And then we purchase. My current gold is at, if it kind of like, it says there 7.7 .7 mil. Uh, we buy one. And it puts up by, is that I think 2K? No, 6,500. Sorry. 6,500. even says that. 6,500. Um, but look, that is very it's not exactly the best way of looking at trying to get this sorted out because uh, it will probably end up costing you in other types of uh, ways. But uh, if you are, if you were to do it uh, a thousand times, it would mean that you get back 6.5 mil, but it will cost you in the end uh, with those tickets. Um, so I don't know if it's the best way. It's an option to grab more gold quickly it's just not the best option. In any case, I'm going to end that video, this video here because I don't want to go into, to, on too long. Uh, check out the guide. It will be built out as I, you know, make more content. But yeah, thanks for watching. Check out some other content located on screen right now. Have a great day and I'll see you all soon in the next video. Bye-bye.